this is Amin Qureni, the co-host. The AOCP magazine aims to present to you various information and stories about ELC family and ACT in general. In addition, it is designed to provide an avenue for students to involve themselves in public speaking, news reporting, and many other things that can promote language proficiency and development. Lexus RX300 is a unique plan of luxury comfort and practicality. The RX300 comes in two versions, a front-wheel drive and a full-time four-wheel drive version. In either case, you control 220 horsepower V6. The route of your adventure may be rough, but inside is anything, with a legendary smooth ride and a luxury augmentation. There are available leather seats. Also, there is a space for cargo. Utility you want and luxury you need, the RX300 is the one for you. Welcome back. Assalamu alaikum, madam. What's going on there? Alaikum assalam. Yes, that's right. I am now at Mr. Yunus' office and Amal is inside. So we could bring to you the entire message from our HOC. We are happy to have with us our HOC, Mr. Yunus, who is ready to give us his message. Hello to everyone. Hello to the students of Al Musana College of Technology. Hello to the force that moves our college and to, that moves education forward. I have one message for our students today. And since you are studying English here at Al Musana College of Technology and especially at uh, the English Language Center, and you, you are studying English, which is the, the passport to different uh, jobs. And not only the passport to different jobs, it's actually the pa a passport to different and you know activities and to different um, aspects of life outside the college that's why as a center we have different activities for the students we have the english language society which helps students with different skills there are dif different activities that we hold every tuesday activities in which teachers come to the classrooms and meet you to help you with different skills there are teachers who might give you workshops on speaking, on uh, writing, and also to help you with your grammar. Learning is not about coming to, to the college, going to the classes, and taking exams. 
it's actually about the things that you do outside the classroom and these are the things that you are going to remember once you join the, 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 the workforce and you start working you will look back and you will see your experience here at the Musala College of Technology and you will know that it was a memorable experience at the end I wish all of you all the best and a bright future ahead And Allah. We have listened to our HOC and now let us see an interesting tourist attraction. which is visited by many people from different countries. To know more about Nakhal Fort, let's have a look. This is the main entrance to the fort. As you can see, the staircase is made of bedrock, designed and rebuilt by Omani architects. On the walls, historic weapons, guns and rivals are on display. Also, in the fort, there is a discussion room, a store, and a prison cell. The entrance to the rooms are a bit dark. Some rooms have windows and its doors are made of wood with carvings. Many visitors from different countries come to see the fort. This is the upper courtyard with the main tower. Nakhal Fort was built before Islamic period. It was rebuilt during the Arabatan. Nowadays, Nakhal Fort became more famous because of the celebration happening in it, which is Tawaf Uman that show with the history of Nakhal. Nakhal pots made of the stone, plaster, and wood. It consists of six towers. The main towers is the west, east, north, and south towers. In the future, Nakhal Fort will become the main attraction in the region. Join us again in the next edition of the ELCE magazine for another episode on travel and tourism. I am Amal Al Hadrami. You know, Nakhalfort is a promising destination for both local and foreign visitors. That's true, Anjad. Anyway, from Nakhal, we shall travel back here to Musana, then off to Muscat for our sports stories. The first in our list is about the first Oman College Basketball League. Mohammed, may we know more about this? Welcome to the first Unity Cup 2015. The first Oman College Basketball League tournament, dubbed as ACT Unity Cup 2015, has started on 15th of May at Al Musana College of Technology. The tournament was officially opened by Mr. Hamad and Naimi, the ACT Assistant Dean for Admin and Finance and a fan of basketball. This was followed by the singing of the national anthems of Philippine and Oman and the oath of sportsmanship led by Mr. Gary, an ACT basketball enthusiast. The ceremonial tip-off was done by Mr. Naimi. In this tournament, there are three teams competing for the match coveted ACT Cup 2015. These are the ACT VTC Red Arrows, Ibri All-Star, and HCT Technicolors. Let's hope for the best for all these teams. That's awesome! Thank you, Mohammed. Moving on, we will be bringing to you another sports story. Featuring our ELC heads and teachers after this short break. 
Justin, how are you? Huh? Muhammad, how are you? What's up today? I'm fine, how are you? You seem really bored today, what happened? Yeah, you're right. I have a lot of stuff in my hand, but I don't know what to do. Really? Yeah. That's weird, because here in ELC, we have many worthwhile you can do. Many worthwhile activity. Are you sure? Yeah. You can go to the library and read some books. Oh, I did that before a few months ago. Now, I want to watch a movie, but I couldn't find something really worth my time. That's not a problem. You know, here in ELC, we have the e-magazine. E-magazine? What is that? It's an electronic magazine showing stories about administration, beauty and fashion, sport, travel, tourism, and of course, stories about student in action. Oh, that sounds fantastic. What? Uh, where could I find the ELC e-magazine? Well, that's a piece of cake. Now, let's ask Ms. Carrico to explain for us more. Okay, let's ask him. That's indeed amazing. Thank you, my friend, for telling me about this. You are welcome. Now, you know that students don't have the right to get bored in this center with all these worthwhile activities. Absolutely. And now, we are back. So, what are we waiting for? Let's take a look at the next story. Sure. Here is another Muhammad and Mr. Juice talking about billiard and a lot more.